Hello friends and greetings for the day. Welcome back to another episode of Testing in Nutshell. This is Neeraj Kumar Singh and we are continuing with our Jira Administrator tutorials. As a part of today's tutorial, we will be exploring a little more into the user management segment as we have some of the interesting options to explore. And we will be talking about anonymizing what exactly it is and how does it help a particular Jira project in terms of managing the user and also Jira user server which will help you to import certain details of the users from other servers which you are already using within the Jira Atlassian products. So yes, of course, these are two interesting options to further explore in a short while just to get an overview and not quite often used in the real-time industry. But yes, yet important, you never know when you need them. So let's explore a little more about these two options today in our this tutorial. As a part of this tutorial, we will be further continuing on user management with the next two options called as anonymization and Jira user server. For the navigations, you just have to be in Jira administrator and click on the user management and you will navigate to the user management menu. And under this, you will have the third option called as anonymization. Now, what exactly anonymization is all about? It says here that you can anonymize users to hide or delete any data that can identify them as a real person. Just enter their username of an AMA active or deleted user and we will take you to the page with details. If you don't know the username and the user is still active, you can also anonymize, anonymize them for, from their user page. Now, what exactly this option is all about? With a user account comes a lot of other details about that user. Generally, when working in the professional organization, you would have their designation or the organization or even the team in which they are working and what kind of contributions, what kind of group they are involved with. That creates a lot of information for about a particular user. Now, sometimes there are people who are a contributor to Jira project like project managers or project administrators or maybe the lead of the team and several other things which we don't want to disclose their personal information to a lot many other people within Jira. There might be certain clauses, you know, maybe your organization policy says that the such senior, senior resources must not be disclosed with their personal email IDs or kind of role or designation which they play in the organization. Of course, you can definitely find different ways to get the details of that person within your organization. But Jira gives you this freedom to further customize and restrict certain access about the thing. So all you have to do is just put the person's uh, the user ID and click on anonymize and you will see a next page here saying that uh, you can find the details here you can see LXM you can view profile or you can go to the user key of it this person's email identify identify changes what's about to change check all the items associated with this user which will be changing so you can click on this button and you can see what kind of information will be anonymized about this user so right now we only have a uh, you know, a few details and we have not configured a lot of information about each user. But of course, you can definitely have a lot of items which will be anonymized. So of course, we have one item here called as the user profile, which will be hidden and cannot be seen by anyone. Transferring ownership to anyone else, probably like, you know, uh, showcasing this to uh, somebody else or transferring this. So what happens, for example, if this person has left the organization, but it had had a lot of contributions, he had a lot of open issues or probably uh, certain tasks which he was working on. So you hand it over to the project manager and many other tasks which you can further do. So you can either hide it completely or you can transfer the ownership, for example, to probably James Bond. Now, James Bond will be able to see what exactly he was doing and have access to all that work what Alex was involved with. So automatically, James Bond, no matter if he's a developer, tester, or maybe a part of different group of people, he will automatically have access to whatever Alex was doing on. So of course, you know, these are the things which generally can happen in anonymizing a user. And most probably we do that uh, when you don't want to showcase the user, but you don't want to delete the user as well. Or probably when your person leaves the organization or probably has been shifted from one project to another. But of course, there are a lot of tasks which are undone and a lot of tasks what he was working on that that can be even transferred or anonymized. 
So these are the things which you can basically do as a part of an anonymization process. I don't want to click because I will be using this user later. So the next option as a part of this tutorial we are working on is Jira user server. Of course, your organization may have several instances of Jira. Probably initially you started with Jira Core or probably you started with Confluence and later you installed the Jira software instance. Of course, there is a way to integrate all these applications together by using the menu option application here, which we are yet to cover. But of course, when it comes to the user management, we do have provisions to add the applications from different servers or different instances. For example, your Jira core is using a separate server and Jira software team is using a different server. Now you want to integrate these users who are already there in Jira core and want to make use of Jira software as well. Then of course you can use this user servers to integrate them. And of course these users will be automatically imported to your overall uh, Jira software instance as well. So all you have to do is click on add application here and as a part of this, uh, you will be prompted with certain details. Probably this is what happens if you save the details. I should not have saved it. I will delete that. <laughs> All right, so you will have the application name here, which is being used uh, by your server. For example, it's Jira Core, and you have some administration password for that, which is to authenticate. So you can define the name of the, you know, the password for that particular account and the IP address where it is being, you know, hosted. So if you do all these things and click on save, now this particular application will be integrated to your Jira software instance and uh, all the users who are there on the Jira core will further be imported to this particular instance as well. And that will basically allow you to non-creation of new user accounts. But of course, their roles, permissions, groups, everything will be imported here and you can further determine them and assign them to projects on the Jira software as well. So this gives you the convenience uh, instead of avoiding creating your new accounts and all, you can avoid everything and you can just import them because a lot of organizations have these challenges and at Jira, uh, the Atlassian provides you these features that yes, boss, you can have these features where you don't have to actually recreate the accounts if you're using a different product from Atlassian. You can just integrate them and have all the users at one place or you know, you can basically save a lot of time when you're working on such features of uh, Jira in server instance. Well, that is what we just wanted to cover as a part of this tutorial. We are remaining with one more called as user directories, which I'll be covering in the upcoming tutorial. So stay tuned for that. So that's all from this particular tutorial team. Should you have anything else, feel free to comment below. I'm always there to address your queries and answer them well. Till then, keep learning, keep exploring, keep understanding the context. Thanks for watching the video team and happy learning.